All right, so this is Razer's brand new Basilisk V3 gaming mouse. I don't normally do a review after just one day of using a product, but I wanted to do this because I'm really blown away. I thought I was going to get another Basilisk just like any other Basilisk, right? This is the Hyperspeed X on the left. You can tell they look really similar. So when I saw the V3 was out and I requested it from Razer, I thought this will be an, an easy review. Just plug it in, play with it for a couple of days, and then find those minor differences and off we go. But there's actually some significant differences here. Razer have actually delivered a huge set of upgrades over the previous mice. And I also have the V2 and the V1 from over the years. This V3, even though it's wired, is definitely my favorite. You can tell that Razer is listen to fan feedback and they've added some new things. They're definitely thinking about gamers, uh, which is really cool. So now I, I did emphasize that it's wired. I do prefer wireless mice. I'm not a competitive gamer. This mouse is geared at competitive gamers. But regardless of that, if you just want a good mouse to use, uh, the Basilisk V2 and the Hyperspeed X, they're not a bad way to go. I mostly use this Razer Pro Click. I love this mouse because the ergonomics is definitely more comfortable for productivity. It can game, again, for someone like me who doesn't do competitive gaming, but I do always keep my Hyperspeed X on the side just in case I need to get down and dirty. But the thing is, this V3 is actually better for the getting down and dirty. So let's dive into it. Now, first of all, you'll notice two buttons here by the mouse wheel. This is your DPI switch, the one on the bottom, but the one above it, this, if you listen closely here, you'll hear a spring, okay? So that changes the tactility of the scroll wheel. Right now I'm scrolling, listen to this. Hear that little click? Every stage of the scroll, it'll pause, right? But if I depress this, now it's smooth, okay? Some people like that, all right? Now, this is also now a four-way mouse scroll. So you can go left, right, up, or down and that adds more utility because you can actually use left and right as buttons in game. You can map them in a game like Valorant or a CSGO to particular functions. Maybe you want to throw a grenade, that's probably not a good way to map it, but you could do that if you wanted to. The games do support it. All right, now other buttons. Uh, I mentioned similarities, right? You got your left and right, and right mouse button. They look identical. Uh, the shape are very similar. I'd say maybe a little bit thinner on this new V3 versus the Hyper SpaceX, but it also has this sniper button now that previously was on um, the V2 of the Basilisk and it was removable. Let's see if it's removable this time. It's not, it's just a firm button. So if you wanna go into sniper mode, slow down your DPI, you hold this down and now you've got less sensitivity and you could be a little more specific with where you're aiming at. Okay, still reclaims this honeycomb sort of rubberized grip, which I love. Kind of wish the whole thing was made of that. And on the other side, you have it as well. Now, ergonomically, it's not gonna be a productivity mouse. You can tell from the angles here. So if you have issues with your wrist, you probably don't wanna daily drive this. I certainly can't, but for gaming, it's totally great for an hour at a time. All right, now, other things to note about the design. You now have chroma lighting along the base, and it looks really good. I mean, just look at it dead on, okay? So it starts on the left and the right here, and then just look at that. I think this looks really awesome. Okay, and then of course your Razer logo will light up and the scroll wheel lights up on either side. So it's a good looking mouse and the lighting accents make it look even better. It's an aggressive design, right? With this sharp, these sharp edges here, the lighting definitely adds to that. It's a good overall aesthetic. Okay, now on the bottom we have our feet uh, allowing for comfort. There is the thumb rest, I should mention that too. And then 26,000 DPI the previous Hyperspace X, I think it's 11, let's check. It's 16,000, and it is a wireless mouse. So uh, as far as how it feels in game, it's awesome. Um, I, again, I'm not a competitive gamer, but I'm a gamer. I've been playing games for 30 years on PC, and maybe even less, I don't know, a little more, I mean. But anyway, this feels really good. Okay, there are 10 programmable buttons overall, and I mentioned the sniper shot here with the focus. Uh, where you can drop that down, which is pretty cool. And these are optical mouse switches. It's what Razer calls their second generation of Razer optical mouse switches. Uh, so it, it, they feel good. If you want to hear contrast with the regular mouse. Yeah, a little more clicky. Oh man, I'm clicking on things on my PC. I should stop doing that. So anyhow, I'm, I'm a big fan of this. Um, 
I would definitely recommend it if you're into PC gaming. And Razer, they do release mice often and release different types of mice, like the Death Adder, the Death Adder Pro, uh, the Atheris, the Orochi. I mean, I've been reviewing all of them, and I can't speak highly enough about just their overall um, variety and quality just to find stuff that you like. So hopefully this is a valuable uh, sneak peek into this device. I'll spend more time with it, but for now, I was just so surprised at the ginormous differences that I want to do this video quickly. So hope you found it helpful. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.